What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. EMT here and in this video, we are taking out for a spin the brand new Insta360 Flow. And this might be the very best smartphone gimbal of 2023. Let's get to it. All right, so Insta360 came out of the gate, out of left field with a smartphone stabilizer. And in true Insta360 fashion, they bring their take on popular features and they just make them different, make them their own and add that Insta360 polish to it, which I'm very, very happy and very, very excited. By far my favorite gimbal design, this thing looks sleek, futuristic, clean, very minimalistic. If you look at it from the front, it doesn't even look like a gimbal. It's one of those things that it's like, whoa, what, what is that? What kind of device is this? Insta360, I'm really loving what you did here with the design. The Insta360 standalone will start at 159 US dollars, but Insta360 sent us the creator kit, and that one starts at 209 US dollars. The package includes the magnetic phone clamp, type C to type A USB cable, a type C to type C USB cable for you to be able to charge your smartphone, making the Insta360 Flow a power bank, as well as a type C USB to lightning. So now you're getting a hint of what they're going for here. You're gonna be able to plug in your smartphones, whether you're using Android or iOS, you're gonna be able to plug in and charge your device directly into the gimbal, which is already a fantastic feature to have. The package also includes a spotlight, which gives you the capability to add additional fill lighting when you're recording yourself, vlogging, or just pretty much recording any kind of environment, you have this included in the packaging, which is fantastic. You also have a silicon grip cover and your quick start guide. The package also includes an awesome carry bag. Insta360 kind of like gave it a little twist, a little bit more finesse. Um, it's a clear carry bag and it's just awesome because I can actually fit pretty much everything that came in the packaging. Now, starting with some of the most important things about this gimbal is going to be the battery life. This thing has a 16 hour battery life, all day battery life. I took it to Disneyland and I could not get this thing to die. Filmed for a long time and I was pretty much running out of battery on my phone before the gimbal ran out. So that's a huge, huge plus. On top of that, the Insta360 Flow has a 300 gram payload capacity. And this is huge because phones are getting bigger phones are getting heavier and if you decide to mount any additional filters or lenses you're sure to be able to accommodate those so you can create your favorite filming rig with this stabilizer another fantastic feature that insta360 brought to the table is a one-step rapid deploy and when i read it i was like okay what what does that mean this thing folds and unfolds which is cool but like i mentioned at the beginning insta360 is bringing that insta360 magic into the fold so when you actually unfold the Insta360 Flow, the gimbal actually turns on or off. It works both ways. You don't have to hold and press a power button or do anything extracurricularly or, or do anything different. In that single motion of unfolding the gimbal, the gimbal's already starting for you. And in that single motion, the Insta360 Flow also self-balances. It automatically addresses any kind of unbalances. So you don't have to really worry about anything. You just slap your phone and you're ready to capture smooth video in literally like three seconds. I'm not kidding, it's that fast. And on top of this awesome rapid deployment, the power's on the gimbal and automatically gets you started without needing to balance or do anything they go a little extra step above and the moment you attach your iphone you're just simply going to get a notification prompting you to tap and open the insta360 app i cannot begin to tell you how much of a fan i am of this feature because i actually have on my smartphone a folder with all the gimbal apps and all these different photo and video editing apps and sometimes I'm running and gunning, I'm trying to record and I just 
sometimes default to the native camera app, which there's nothing wrong with it, but then I'm not gonna be able to take advantage of all the features. And Insta360 is making my life, our lives, a lot easier to the point where when the app recognizes that the gimbal is nearby and paired, it just automatically says, hey, tap here to use the Insta360 app and you just go. And it's honestly one of those things that you wonder, man, this is so useful and so impactful that you wonder why haven't anybody else thought of this first? But of course, Insta360 elevating the experience with their software, I feel that this is gonna be one of the most powerful things because time is the one thing that we're always against as photographers and videographers. And just being able to slap your phone, the gimbal's already interfacing with it. Hey, you might wanna use this app, tap here to get to filming. It's just incredible. So I love that rapid deployment ecosystem, right? Not only starting the gimbal, self-balancing, but automatically suggesting, hey, maybe you want to use this app and boom, here we go. You don't have to fumble around. I love it very, very, very much. Another phenomenal feature that this Insta360 Flow possess is the built-in selfie stick or extension. It's about 215 millimeters worth of additional extension, which is fantastic when you're vlogging and you want to capture more in the frame, get a little bit more distance, it doesn't get any better than that. It does have an articulation. Insta360 Flow continues to check a lot of boxes in the industry. So if you're vlogging, live streaming, definitely consider that box checked with the built-in extension rod. Extension capability around 215 millimeters. Now Insta360 also added a phenomenal feature that redefines how we interact with the gimbal itself, whether it's the menus or different modes or just flat out the functionality and just the comfort that you feel when you're interacting with your gimbal. And that is the smart wheel control. Now wheels on gimbals is a thing that we've seen before, it's nothing new. But the way that Insta360 goes about it is a take of something familiar with once again, that Insta360 software magic, and I'm a fan. So while you're using the Insta360 app and filming, you do have the ability to zoom in and out using the wheel. Another fantastic feature that they introduced with this wheel is the ability to snap between the different lenses. I took it out for a spin with an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and you, of course, you can apply constant pressure up or down in order to zoom in or out, and it will go and transition between lenses, of course, from the ultra wide lens all the way up to the telephoto. But if you just simply flick it like a quick up or down, it'll switch between lenses in rapid fashion. And I think this is phenomenal for vlogging or just simply capturing action because in the heat of the moment while you're going up and then something's happening over there, you can just simply snap and zoom in to that specific action. Kind of like one of those digital zooms that you see in movies, but instead of being digital, it's actually a combination of both. All those steps up until you get to the organic telephoto lens, wide lens, and then ultra wide. So once again, Insta360 is bringing that additional sizzle, that cherry on top that they can only do with their software. Now on the inside, you have that ring around the face of the gimbal, but if you notice, there's an area in the middle where the joystick is, and around it, you have three different buttons. Of course, you have your on and off button. You also have on the left side, your record button that allows you to start recording video or snap photos. But on the right side of the gimbal, you have those arrows, and that is what's gonna give you the capability to switch between the front-facing camera, rear-facing camera with a single tap. If you double tap it, it'll give you the ability to go from landscape to portrait. And then if you triple tap, it switches between photo mode and video mode. Along the top of the circle, you'll notice that there are a couple of LED lights that allow you to switch different modes. And oh boy, this is when Insta360 is throwing me back to the iPod classic days. This whole face of the gimbal is a touch sensitive area. And as you rotate, just like an iPod classic, you'll be able to switch between your different modes. It's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a very elegant answer to switching modes. Instead of the traditional button to toggle modes, you have this amazing gesture, a little bit more modern take, and it just makes me feel like I'm using something 
that behaves in a similar fashion to my smartphone, to my tablets, to my screen. There's, there's a consistency that Insta360 brings to the table that is familiar. It just brings this finesse and this elegance to just a basic feature that is switching modes. It just makes it interactive and I love it. I appreciate it and I'm very happy that they innovated in this way where they honestly could have just put a button, an additional button at the top just for you to simply toggle, but it just brings and elevates the experience and it makes it a little bit more futuristic, a little bit more elegant, and I love it. Now on top of being able to use the smart wheel as a touch area to switch between modes, you can actually interact with the videos you've recorded and fast forward or rewind, literally just like an iPod Classic. And Honestly, I wish that we still had that same function in a lot of other things. We kind of see it on different touch sensitive areas like remote controls and other things like game console, like PlayStation controller and whatnot. You have that touch area at the top. But once again, they find different ways to continue to innovate in the way that you interact. You still have the old fashioned way where you can scrub through your videos with your fingers on the screen. But, but, but the ability for you to just use one hand and finesse your way around your videos elegantly scroll forward and backwards while you're navigating your previews, right? And you're seeing all your videos in the gallery. You can actually use this side to go to the next video or to the previous video. So it's just one of those things where it's, it's, it, it feels organic. It feels elegant. And I discovered it. I just simply stumbled upon it because I watched the video. I was holding the gimbal with my hand and I was already ready to swipe left and right. But by mistake, I kind of like touched the area and I discovered that you can scrub back and forward. While a lot of gimbals are really good devices, it's just very basic and simple and it doesn't feel modern. Uh, to a certain extent and i love the fact that insta360 with their software capabilities has this fresh take on just the basic functions of navigation the smart wheel allows you to switch between different modes like automatic which pretty much recognizes the kind of motions that you're using and it adapts to your specific needs you can switch to follow which means that your y and x axes are the ones that are moving panning and tilting of course your role will remain locked the next mode is pan follow. It allows me to keep my horizon locked and just simply walk normally pan left and right, but then your Y axis or your tilting as well as your roll will remain locked. We also have the FPV mode, which allows you to literally have this gimbal follow your every single motion. If you want to look down, if you want to look up, left, right, even roll around and create some awesome Inception-esque kind of shots, you have the ability to rotate this gimbal and it will follow you kind of like an FPV drone, which is amazing because in areas that you can't fly your drone, you can mimic those kinds of shots with your Insta360 flow. And of course you have the lock mode. With this mode, you actually have a trigger in the back of the gimbal that if you press and hold, it locks the entire gimbal. That means that your panning and tilting as well as your roll remain locked. But at the end of the day, this is a stabilizer. This is a smartphone gimbal. So I definitely want it to compare the stabilization. And I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of the harmony that Insta360 has in between the hardware and the software. I took it out for a spin in Disneyland and I was recording in one hand with an iPhone 14 native camera app. And then of course the iPhone 14 Pro Max on the Insta360 Flow, just to see what the basic function of walking forward was. And, the video capture with Insta360 Flow is definitely less shaky, but take a look at the lens flare. And the ones that are captured with the Insta360 Flow are a lot more stable compared to the ones in the handheld video. On top of that, if I zoom in a little bit, you'll notice the sharpness is retained uh, to a higher level on the Insta360 Flow versus handheld. So if you're looking to capture memories in low light or in general, right? Having that extra motion when you're walking down the street or you're running around with your phone, uh, while the phone is super usable, nothing wrong with handheld video, uh, but definitely a lot higher quality when you're using the Insta360 Flow. On top of that, being able to capture cinematic shots like a jib crane shot or a sliding shot are fantastic when you're using the extension capability because you can go above fences, you can get low to the ground and create those awesome cinematic moves that elevate the quality of your video. Oh, and I almost forgot the Insta360 Flow has a built-in tripod. 
This has been the one thing that I've always dreamed of that I honestly never figured out how you could do it, but Insta360 went ahead and did it. The fact that I don't have to carry around that darn tripod, the fact that I have the ability to just simply pop this open and the tripod, it's already there without sacrificing on a quarter inch mount if I need to mount it on tripods. Um, it's just fantastic. I just honestly feel that Insta360 has literally hit it off the park with the design. Awesome foldable design. Awesome see-through design on the rear of the gimbal, giving me Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Color vibes from back in the day. I love this old iMac-esque kind of design where you can see the internals. It's honestly really, really cool. But they figured out a way to incorporate the tripod into that design. So I no longer forget the tripod because it's already there. And it's all those little things combined that make me really, really love this gimbal and say that this is my favorite gimbal of 2023 so far. And it's a tough one to beat. I'm, I'm dead honest. But then what happens next? Their application is feature packed with pretty much presets and templates for you to be able to create amazing videos with music transitions, but not only three, four, five, or 10, there's a lot more that you can do on this application. You can just flat out edit your own videos. If you want to follow a template or not, you also have a video editor built in into the Insta360 app, but then you also have the shot lab that gives you all these amazing extracurricular videos that they've been doing for quite some time using their Insta360 ONE X cameras or the Insta360 ONE R cameras or even the Insta360 GO. There are so many great ideas that you can borrow and they give you tutorials right in this application. Those are the kind of ideas that make this fun and make this engaging. Cause yes, we're making videos, we're making reviews, we're making memories, sometimes in a serious fashion, sometimes in a fun or relaxed fashion. But videos for me that I'm able to say, hey, I wanna create something cool, something fun, just, just for the sake of it, I love the fact that Insta360 has a myriad different options from shot labs to just flat out templates that you can follow using AI editing or not. If you want to just edit your own videos, you actually have an editor on the Insta360 app. When you're using the Insta360, the interface leaves nothing to be desired, is feature packed. It does have a photo mode. It does have a video mode. It has a panoramic mode that allows you to create landscape panoramic shots. Um, wider shots and even 360 degree shots, which makes perfect sense because this is Insta360. That is their bread and butter. So now they've figured out a way for you to be able to create 360 sphere esque shots for social media using your smartphone. And the app just simply stitches it up together, which is phenomenal. This app allows you to also track faces and pads as well. And you have the ability to use the trigger to start and stop tracking. By the way, if you double click that trigger, it'll just revert to the neutral position. And if you triple click it, let me tell you, you'll be able to vlog with the best camera in your smartphone, the rear camera. It does give you the ability to rotate and film yourself with the rear camera. And you can also rotate the spotlight. It seems like they thought of everything, but my favorite mode, believe it or not, on the Insta360 app is a cinematic mode. And this is something that they brought in with their Insta360 ONE R um, action cameras and ONE RS is the ability for you to create that cinematic anamorphic-esque video, that longer video, not quite 16 by nine, but it does give you a wider cinematic videos with the bars so you don't have to do anything in post. And it's packed with filters on top of that. I stumbled upon those when I switched to cinematic and I saw that the color was a little bit more contrasty, a little bit more intense. And just the fact that you have so many different options within the application, it's just fantastic. Another mode that I was playing a lot with uh, in the past couple of days has been their time-lapse mode. Not only you can create a stationary time-lapse, but you can create a moving time-lapse with up to four different points, set point A, B, C, and D. You can select your intervals and the app just makes it effortless. Um, there's also a hyperlapse or, or time shift mode where you can create moving time lapses. And of course you have a manual mode. If you feel like you wanna change your shutter speed, change your shutter speed, change your ISO. So they haven't really given me less than I was expecting because they've already had 
a wide variety of these features for the Insta360 cameras. And now they're in my smartphone, which is amazing. Having said all that, the one thing that I wish that I could do is change my focus. I still haven't found a way to use the zoom wheel or the smart wheel that we can use to zoom in or out. Um, I haven't found a toggle to see if I could focus back or forth. It would be awesome to see if I could preset focus points um, similar to applications like Filmic Pro or other pro apps that do give you the capability to set your focus points as well as the zoom. That would be a fantastic addition to this app because then it will minimize um, you know, the need for me to jump to different apps if I'm trying to recreate specific kinds of cinematic shots. Which by the way, if I do choose to switch applications, whether it's a native camera app, social media apps, or any third party applications, the actual recording button on the Insta360 Flow controls the shutter of those apps. So it has native controls, which is phenomenal. So if I'm intentionally filming in a controlled space, I have no problem with that, but I would love to minimize the amounts of times that I switch back and forth, unless I'm posting on Instagram or Reel or something like that. Having said that, this Insta360 Flow is by far my favorite gimbal of 2023, and I'm just gonna go ahead and flat out say, this is the freshest, most beautiful gimbal that I've ever used. And I've had the opportunity to play with a lot of gimbals, so that's huge. The fact that Insta360 was able to enter this specific area of the market and come out swinging with such a refined product and such polished software. I haven't encountered any major issues yet. Out of the overall time that I've been using the Insta360 Flow, it's just been a delight. I've just been every minute or so that I've been using it, I discover something new. I was like, man, like this is butter. This is smooth. I, I love the take or the direction that they went in for this specific feature. Maybe it's an established feature, but they were able to truly hone in something and bring something that not only looks sleek, futuristic, but it also operates sleek and futuristic. I don't feel like I have a clunky, plasticky device. It's a high quality, solid build quality, and it brings pretty much everything that we know and love of a smartphone gimbal, but then to just add their Insta360 magic, that level of polish, I'm a fan. Insta360 has been a supporter of the channel. They have shared their products with me for many years, and I know some of their representatives, but generally I tip my hat to y'all. You've been able to create something that I truly feel rejuvenated, and I truly feel like I want to go out and film. Even though I've been doing this for quite some time with smartphone gimbals, I'm actually excited and looking forward to my next trip to Disneyland so I can take it with me and capture some more cinematic videos and some cool shots with a shots lab. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All the links to everything I use is down in the description. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.